The product that we get asked about more than any other is inspection chambers. This is a 450mm inspection chamber set that I've put together this morning. It comprises of a base, two risers and a cover and frame. This is a polypropylene cover and frame, probably the most popular option. As you can see it's circular, it's 450mm across and it's suitable for driveway loading. There are a number of different options available in terms of the covers. You can have a square cover, you can have a recessed cover if you're doing block paving or perhaps if you're siting the inspection chamber internally, maybe in a conservatory or a kitchen and you need a sealed cover. So there are various options that you can have. The probably most common question is the height or depth of the chamber set. I'm going to measure it for you now from the bottom of the invert level, which is the lowermost level of the chamber where the water sits, to the top of the cover is 800 millimetres or 0.8 of a metre. Now you don't have to have it as a set, you can buy the individual com component parts, so you can buy just a base and as many risers as you want. So if you just want a base and one riser, I'll just take one away, you can see that a base and one riser gives you a depth of 570 millimetres. Now in this format, i.e. 450 mil across, you can go up to 1.2 metres in depth, 1200 millimetres. You do that by adding more risers and you can cut each riser down. It's quite simple, I'll just come a little closer so to show you the riser section. You can see here that there are various grooves, they're really templates along the way that you can just cut down with a fine tooth saw. It's not a difficult job. If you want to go above 1.2 meters in depth with one of these chambers, you can do that. You can actually go to three meters in depth, but you have to restrict the access into the chamber. I'll just build that one back up. So let's say we wanted to carry on going. Let's say we had our chamber, we wanted to go 2.1 meters deep. Carry on going until we get the appropriate height with the risers. How we restrict the access is with the cover and frame. Now, I've loosened the screws on this cover earlier, so I'm just going to take the actual cover out of the frame. So, there's the frame. As I said earlier, that normally is 450 millimetres across. To restrict it to 350 millimetres, which is building regulations, you pop one of these restricting pieces inside. They clip in, you just locate the three clips on each side, that just clips in like that, pop that back on, the chamber and cover sits back down again and now you can happily go up to three metres within the building regulations. The bases themselves come with the main channel open. So there's the main channel through from top to bottom. Those are, as you can see, they're left open. The side inlets, which we've got four on this 450 chamber, they always come blanked off with a blanking plug. If you need to use the side inlets, you just pop them out. That then opens it up to allow you to bring your pipe in. Most people won't use more than two side inlets anyway. If you're not using them, just make sure that the plugs are in place. There's a ceiling ring in there. Just pop them in nice and tight and that makes a watertight seal. Now, talking of water tightness, when you build the risers onto the base, the risers also come with a sealing ring. Now when we supply them to you, we supply them on one of the central two grooves. Here it is, can you see that? There's the actual sealing ring. What you have to do is just move it down to the bottom groove. Now the reason that we don't supply it on the bottom groove is that if you inadvertently put that riser into the base and push it down, it's quite a job to get it back out again, which it should be. So only actually locate it into that bottom groove when you actually need it when you're putting the uh, riser into the base, because once you do, it's a good, tight, watertight seal. That's probably the most common questions that we get asked about the inspection chambers. If you need any more information, you'll probably find the answers on our website, www.drainagepipe.co.uk, or check out some of the other videos that we've posted on YouTube. I hope you found this useful, and I hope you'll be watching again soon.